Read BBS, BBS, Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts, a bitch brother with an attitude named Q, step to the calm with a few, that's a classic battle rhyme diss track called The Bitch In You from one of my favorite hip hop artists, Common. It was directed at Ice Cube, who he was beefing with at the time. Which brings me to the, the crux of this video. I want to talk about the bitch, the pure, unadulterated bitch in Bob Arum and his unforgivable remarks about Terrence Bud Crawford. I first got wind of Arum talking greasy about Bud from Boxing Elite. It's a Facebook boxing group I'm a part of. And, uh... <laughs> Strangely, the post was started by one of the admins named Dana Common. Direct from Bob Arum. He's got to promote like Teofimo Lopez does. He's got to promote like Shakur Stevenson does. Like Floyd Mayweather did. Like Manny Pacquiao did. If he doesn't, then who the fuck needs him? He may be the greatest fighter in the world, but hey, I ain't going bankrupt promoting him. The question is, do we want to keep him? I could build a house in Beverly Hills on the money I've lost on him in the last three fights. A beautiful home. Nobody questions Crawford's innate, tremendous ability by beating a naturally bigger guy in Kell Brook decisively. That's a big statement that he's making. The question is, does he pay the bills? Look, you can have the greatest opera singer in the world. If the fans don't support it, you're out of business. Those were Aram's comments, which he doubled down on like a day or so later. Somebody was like, hey, you know, was that really the the, the coolest thing to say publicly? Aram was like, I don't give a shit if his team is mad at me. First of all, if I'm not mistaken, Amir Khan was one of Crawford's last three fights that Aram claims to have lost money on. Okay, whose fucking fault is it that you paid Amir fucking Khan five fucking million fucking dollars, dude? That's Bud's fault that you paid Amir Khan five million? Of course it's not. Second of all, why in the hell did you have the audacity to mention Floyd, Bob Aram? You, you did not promote Floyd, not successfully. And let's take it back. Uh, there was a time, once upon a time, Floyd was thought to not be a draw, as funny as that sounds now. Uh, HBO offered him a six fight. It was like 12 mil, 12.5 mil, 12.75 mil, less than 13. They offered Floyd six fights at that rate. And Bob Arum and HBO came back, oh, uh, Floyd called that a slave contract, which isn't totally accurate. What Floyd's actual quote was, 12 million six fights compared to what y'all are paying Prince Nassim Hamed, that's a slave contract. But people never, ever post the entire quote that Floyd actually issued. And Floyd issued this quote in a private conference call with Bob Arum and HBO. This wasn't some shit he said publicly. His so-called promoter in the network did this. Anyway, after that, uh, Floyd's next fight was Gario Vargas. Uh, Gario Vargas, former 130-pound champ. There were 5,123 fans in attendance. And of that, 1,500 of the seats were complimentary. So less than really, shit, what's that, like 3,000, over, over 3,000 fans actually paid to get in. My point in saying that is Bob Arum wasn't promoting Floyd. Bob Arum didn't believe in Floyd. Just like he didn't believe in Guillermo Rigondo. Just like he didn't believe in Terrence Crawford. You noticing a pattern here? Here's what I want to know. Uh, does Vasil Lomachenko promote himself, Bob? You didn't mention him amongst the Shakurs and the Teofimo Lopez's and the Mannies. How about Artur Betterbeer? Does he promote himself? What about Josh Taylor? Does Josh Taylor promote himself? The bitch in Bob Arum. It was so foul. You got rival promoters and promoters in other sports chopping at uh, Bob's ass with this, like clapping all at him. Dana White, chief among them. Here's White's quote. Bob Arum's problem, or excuse me, his problem isn't to figure out how you make money. 
You fucking signed a deal with this kid. We have a very big roster. The biggest roster we've ever had in the history of the UFC. I have to pay all these kids. How I pay them is not their fucking problem. It's my fucking problem. Imagine me saying, oh, I got to pay Conor McGregor this much money. I could have built a house in Beverly Hills. Shut the fuck up, you fucking scumbag. Pay your fucking fighter what you own. Do your job. Bob Aram is a piece of fucking shit. Um, I concur. <laughs> Eddie Hearn had a little something to say, too. Let me give my Eddie Hearn voice. <clears throat> I thought it was so disrespectful to Terrence Crawford, to be honest with you. I mean, you got this guy here who was pound for pound one of the best fighters in the world. One of the best fighters in the world. As far as I'm concerned, that relationship is over. You can see by that interview, that relationship is over. I don't blame Bob because he's too old to tell lies. He doesn't care. He just don't care. I just feel like I don't think what Terrence Crawford is doing, does he need to do more media? Does he need to do more media? Does he need to be more controversial? The damage is done. Even Bud has clapped back uh, earlier today or last night sometime. Basically saying, release me now. Don't wait till after a Spence fight. Release me now. The damage is done, bro. It really is. Aram, fact show, Bob Aram was literally hindering instead of helping Floyd Mayweather. After leaving Bob Aram, Floyd Mayweather shined. Four, four of the top five pay-per-views ever are Floyd Mayweather's. So yeah, fuck Bob Aram, bud. You don't need him. The bitch in Bob Aram. Read BBS. BBS. Blackbird Sugar. Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Televisio. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.